Hi, this is Randy Rolfe from the Institute for Creative Solutions, sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And I've been doing a little series here about the kind of food that you want to have and how you can take a look at your food and see how far or near it is to what's going to be really easy on your body, that's going to be natural, that's related to what we evolved to eat over a couple million years of human life. And so I've talked about whole foods, organic foods, local foods, uh, let's see, uh, fresh foods, simple foods, pure foods, and raw and in season was the most recent one. And I want to talk about irradiation now. Um, this is a process that's used to partially uh, remove germs, bacteria, and viruses from food. And they use uh, gamma rays from cobalt-60 and some other nuclear um, refuse, basically, from uh, nuclear plants. It was a way of trying to make us think that nuclear plants are a good thing because we can use the extra stuff from it to uh, destroy germs in our food. Well, there's no good evidence that we need to do this. It's not perfect. It's not the same as pasteurizing or boiling uh, or cooking. And um, the other way they do it is with x-rays. Do you want your food to be x-rayed? I mean, we're a little worried about ourselves being x-rayed. Should all our food be x-rayed? Or they use electron beams, uh, which is related to x-rays. Um, so it's a really, really high-tech way to deal with food that we've been eating all our lives. Now, um, of course, the argument for it is that we're transporting food uh, for uh, a week across a whole country or across a whole continent and uh, that the purpose is to reduce the likelihood of contamination with infection, infectious uh, substances. But it does not do the whole job, like I just said, and it creates free radicals which are very dangerous in our body and they destroy the, the vitamins and enzymes that are in the foods and some foods it destroys destroys only maybe five to ten percent some foods it destroy, destroys up to eighty percent of the vitamins the a and let's see the a the c the E, the K, and the B complex can be destroyed. And one of the reasons we need our food is to have those vitamins that are so intricate to our metabolism and our energy production. Also, um, the free radicals that are produced by this process uh, kill the enzymes that can help with our digestion with our fresh fruits. And the FDA does approve irradiation of fresh fruits and vegetables, um, and also beef, poultry, shellfish, um, lettuce and spinach, and um, seeds designed for sprouting, like alfalfa sprouts, and even eggs in their shells can be irradiated. Now, how do we avoid that if we really don't want those? Um, they are supposed to carry a label that's internationally recognized, a little Redura uh, symbol, which most people don't recognize. And in this country, most of the irradiated foods are supposed to have words on them uh, that they are irradiated. Now, um, but there are many foods that don't do that. Certainly um, the restaurants don't have to tell you and so on. And also they tried feeding irradiated foods to um, the troops at a certain point, and I'm not sure which war it was, but, um, but they didn't like it. It didn't taste good. Irradiated foods lack flavor. So this may be a whole reason, again, why we're not happy enough with the flavor of our foods. We just eat too many of them. Or we eat too much salt and sugar to make our food taste better. Uh, it may be that some of it's irradiated. So what can we do? Luckily, if it says USDA organic, it has not be, been irradiated. Uh, that it's not supposed to have been irradiated if it gets that symbol. And uh, any other kinds of organic um, 
certifications, they exclude irradiation as well. So it's a whole nother room reason to buy organically labeled foods. So uh, uh, you make sure your food is not irradiated. Now, most spices and herbs that you buy are irradiated and they do often say it on them. So if you get the more expensive organic herbs and spices, then you're, you're going to get all those special things in the herbs and spices that they've always been famous for, for adding quality to our diet. So that's it, a uh, short version on irradiation and you can check it out uh, online at the Organic Consumers Association or the FDA rules or CDC has some uh, material on it. Uh, but I highly recommend that you do your best not to have irradiated foods going into your body. That's it for today.